So there are three bad technique habits that I had that I overcame. There's been a recent trend of guitar videos on YouTube with the focus uh, being on fretboard notes and ways of looking at scales in an unusual or out of the ordinary fashion just to give your, your music and your licks and in, in improvisation a different flavor, a different color. Um, it's given me a chance to, to, you know, watch a lot of people play guitar, which is great. I love watching people play guitar, you know? Uh, but I, I, I've noticed something, you know, I can't help it. I can't help but seeing like technical difficulties, call it. Um, and a, a big one I noticed was the flying pinky. Um, I've seen a lot of flying pinkies out there. Um, and it, it seems to, and I noticed it's a good pattern. The more flying pinky you have, the more you were dependent and re reliant on just the minor pentatonic. And I, I noticed one, one, one particular habit um, that you need to just Stop if you if you if you do this you know if it's if you're doing your your minor three one three one three and you're going one three and jumping up to the fourth fret with your ring fingers it's really not a good way to do the scale you shouldn't be doing the scale like this you should be doing it like this. Use use your pinky. That that's where it starts. That's where it starts, man. I mean, it's like heavy metal. They've been telling you uh, all day long. The secret's right there, man. Um, but flying pinky. Back to the, the flying pinky. I've, I've noticed um, your hands. You know, naturally, your, your your thumb kind of line with your middle finger, and it makes a circle. You know, like naturally, you just like you're grabbing a beer you know we were we were our hands were made to grab beer our hands were made you know we were made for drinking beer <laughs> so if you, you want to be holding your guitar neck like that you know not, you want you want natural no tension in your hand so in that space you just want to be putting the guitar neck naturally like that and holding the guitar neck like this. Once you flatten your thumb against the back of the guitar neck, you're, you're creating tension in this part of your hand. And this is what creates the flying pinky. It's, it's the flattening of the thumb and the hanging above the fretboard. These thumbs hanging up there, I see them like just peeking up over the neck and they're like, oh, one, two, three, four, I declare a thumb more. And like, dude, I'm not fighting you, man you shouldn't be declaring any kind of thumb war up here you need to be down here you, you shouldn't see this guy you know unless he's like really out for blood like i'm little napoleon thumb one two three four i declare thumb war he shouldn't be hanging out up here you shouldn't see him especially if you're playing notes down on this string this is the worst place for this guy to be he, he needs to be down here to make that natural grip grasping motion so if we just do an exercise here Take your, you know, hand, yeah, just touch your thumb with all your fingers, right? It's like a tip of your thumb, you know? Now, flatten your thumb like that, and I'll try it. Look at that, look at that, what's that? And there's a the flying pinky, there's a the flying pinky. This added tension right there translates to the back of your hand and all of a sudden you're fighting. You're fighting when you flatten your thumb. You want to be completely relaxed. So that is bad habit number one right there, the thumb. How you place your thumb on the back of your neck. It really should be like the tip of your thumb for optimal speed and mobility. Um, and now you're saying, well, Handy, I, I seen you hanging out there 
you know, like in your last video, you're sitting near your thumb, sitting there over there, like, you know, declaring a thumb war on everyone, like, pfft, running around Europe like crazy madman. Yes, you're right. But, no, if you're playing it, you kind of want to be, if you're essentially just doing this, as you're coming down, you don't, know, you don't want to leave your thumb hanging. <laughs> you know, you kind of want to, because you really shouldn't be pushing with your thumb. You shouldn't be pushing with either of your thumb or your fingers. It should be an equal balance. And you're just trying to grab your beer. You're just trying to get your beer, man. This is all you're trying to do here. Yeah. So you want to keep that, hold your beer shape as you come down. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to drop your beer. Don't want to drop your beer. So, I, you can't drop the beer. Don't drop your beer. That was, that was bad habit number two. Or tech, tech, my technical difficulty number two. These are the three things that I overcame that really like help with my playing immensely. Once I corrected these three technical difficulties, game on. Um, okay, that'll lead us to number three. Number three. No, you sit down. Picking him. My technical difficulty in my picky hand <clears throat> that almost everyone's guilty of. Not letting your picking hand float and be off the strings and anchoring. This, this is a crutch. This is a crutch. If you're, if you're anchoring consistently as you play scales, especially when you're strumming, it's a crutch. You need to trust yourself. Trust yourself. It, it, it feels crazy at first. Once you stop anchoring and you feel like your hand's just gonna go all over the place. At first it does. But that you you wanted to do that because that, that's complete freedom. Because once you anchor, you're holding yourself back. And once you allow your picky hands to be free, as free as your fretting hand, if your fretting hands are here laughing, hey, hey, you dummy, hey, 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 look at you, look at you, what are you, some kind of rhinoceros? What are you talking about? Look at you. They don't even let you use your fingers. You gotta sit there and just hold that big rhinoceros for it. Oh, 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 oh. You just, just like, you know, hold his beer and drink beer all day. And your picky hands sitting there chained, oppressed, anchored down in the fields, man, whipped. Yeah, stop anchoring. Once you stop anchoring and, and you, you let yourself be free, you, you could just be like. I'm free. No chains on me.